How's it going everyone? Deformed Clock here. Um, today I'm going to be doing an extension off of the virtual desktop tutorial that I have done on my channel before. Um, and it got 8,000 views and I thought I'd make a part two um, so where I can show you how to reinstall it. If you guys need that again, I'm going to run through it really fast. And then I'm going to show how to do full body tracking with Quest 2. Now I know Thrill, uh, Thrill Seeker, The Mystical, all of them guys do this. Uh, shout out to them by the way, they're fucking awesome. Um, but I'm going to say this, those guys did it very well, but I'm going to do a very bare bones, just basically how to install the apps, how to get it done and do a quick tutorial. Cause some people just want it quick and easy. So if you want to skip past my whole rambling nonsense here, you can skip to that timestamp, wherever it is. I don't know where it's going to be, but, uh, skip to that timestamp. I'll put it in the video or in the description. Um, so anyways, what you're going to need, you're going to need your quest Two, obviously. Um, this is a quest Two thing. Uh, the HTC, um, the Rift, the Index, all of that stuff is done for you. You don't have to worry about that with Quest. Um, well, you have to worry about it with Quest. You don't have to worry about it with those um, headsets. So, um, with that being said, here we go. I'm going to switch scenes right now. That way we can get the show on the road. So, what you're going to start out with, I'm just going to close all of these really quick. Um, what you're going to have to do is go to your web browser, type in Virtual Desktop Streamer, and you're going to want to get this app. This is the streamer app for Quest 2 um, to hook up to your computer. You're going to hit download. It is going to, I have a download manager, so it's going to go there, but I am not actually going to download it right now. So with that done, you will have something after you run the EXE, you will have something like this. This is the virtual desktop streamer app. Um, I went through this with the last of my last video, but I'm going to go through it again. What you're going to have to do, obviously mine's already done. But you're going to type in your Oculus username. Mine's Deformed Clock. You're going to go to Options, and if you want it to stream your audio, such as like your mic or your uh, headset speakers, you're going to hit um, VR headset only or VR headset and computer. Obviously, I'm running wireless headphones. These are the JLab ones. I'm not sponsored, I promise. Uh, YouTube, don't hit me. Please don't hit me with copyright. I don't want to get hit. Um, I'm using just some JLab headphones. Um, yeah. So. With that being said, now we're going to get to the point where you're going to go to your headset. Now, once you are in your headset, I'm using this app called oculus.com slash casting. A lot of people don't know about it. It's very handy, very beneficial. I'm going to confirm my guardian really quick. I got to just change it. Okay, so I'm going to cast my headset really quick to my computer. Like so. So, when your headset casts, it will show up like this. This is also for streamers if you guys wish to do so. This is how most people like Mystical and everybody does, does that for that. So now once you are in your headset, you are going to go to the Oculus Store. You can also do this on the website or on your phone. I don't have my phone ready to go, so it is Virtual Desktop. Now I already have it purchased, so it's right there. That's the app. You're going to go to your apps and you're going to do virtual desktop. Now, once you are in virtual desktop, please keep in mind, um, your mic will be casted if you chose that option. Now I'm pretty sure I didn't. So here's this, this is the whole overlay. You guys can see everything and what's going on and that's what it is. But now you can see like I'm looking at my streaming software. There's all of that. It, that's how it works guys. It has your whole monitor. Now for launching steam VR. If you do not have your Steam VR installed yet, you need to install it, get that installed. But if you're already done with that, please go into your settings in here. If you have a PC like mine, I only have a 780 Ti, change it to potato. It's not going to do good <laughs> if you don't. But if you have whatever these are, you can do that. So you're going to hit launch Steam VR, and I'm just going to keep it going through this platform because it works really well. So once that goes, it'll go automatically, and now we are in Steam VR. So I am now in Steam VR with my controllers. It works flawlessly. Uh, yes, it's going to have a little bit of latency if you can't tell, um, and it's going to glitch out a little bit with that. But now I'm going to move on to how to um, do your Vive trackers with Quest 2. All right. So what you are going to need for the trackers. If you guys already don't know, Vive or uh, HTC have released Vive trackers a long time ago. I have the 3.0 trackers. 
Um, and then you also need the packs that come with them. I've already been playing with them, and I love them. Uh, I'm completely wireless with my Quest 2. I don't even own a PC VR headset. So here it is. This is what you need. You need a Vive Puck, two base stations. All my base stations are already up on the corners, and some track, some track belts. Um, that is pretty much all you need for that part for hardware. Um, for software, however, there's a bit of a catch. So for software, we're going to go back into here. Obviously my VR view is still open. I should have done this where I was paused. Sorry. I'm very sloppy. So what we're going to go to do is you are going to go to your browser of choice again, and you are going to download OVR space calibrator. This is going to allow you, it's a GitHub page. You just go to releases. I will link this in the description as well. You're going to download this file right here. Once you download that file, it'll be an icon like that. This is the app. Obviously you can see my quest Two, both my controllers. Now say whenever you power on a tracker, I'm going to grab my waist tracker for this. So powered on, it's going to be a whole setup process for you to do. Just follow the instructions that come with the box and you should be fine. If you guys need help or questions or make, want me to make a video on how to set up your hardware and get the firmware to go as well, let me know in the comments below and I will do so. So now that it shows that my tracker is tracking, it is tracked by the lighthouses. My tracker is on, but it is not calibrated to my headset. I'm going to switch to my uh, camera view and then I will, um, well, you'll just see this. So we're going to go into my VR view, put on my headset and get right to where I need to be. Okay. So when you are in your headset view, you are going to want to unscrew your tracker from the track belt. Now this is going to be a bit janky because I am recording, but you know what? We'll, we'll make it work. So you're going to go into the, into the middle of your play space. My play space is not working because I have my guardian on one second. There we go. So now when you are in your steam VR layout, what you're going to do, you can see your tracker is not actually relative to your headset. That is because the headset is not lighthouse tracked. Now there is ways to have your headset be lighthouse tracked, like taping a vibe tracker to your headset, turning off your tracking, stuff like that. But that's for a later video and whenever I get more trackers, I only have three at this current point in, at the time of this video. So you're going to go into your vibe or your menu, go into space cal. Now you will see this interface. Now, you're going to make sure that your Quest 2 is selected and then the tracker that you want to calibrate, which is your, always going to be your waist tracker, to be ready to calibrate. Mine, for instance, is the O0B0. So put it towards your head, and then you are going to move your head in a figure eight pattern like so. It's going to take a few seconds. Sorry if you guys have epilepsy. I am going to put a warning. And there we go. Now the headset, the tracker is calibrated to my headset and it will work on my waist. Um, the other two trackers, the feet trackers will automatically calibrate to this one and will be relative to your feet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into another game and yeah. Okay. Doesn't want to pause. That's fine. I will be back once I launch VR Chat. Okay. okay. So now, so that, now that we are in VR Chat, this, this is the only avatar that I have that's streamer friendly, and that's, that's not what I mean. This, this is, is the only avatar that, that works really, really well with, like, like showcasing FBT because, because, because of the legs. So, so now, 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 that now that you are in VR, VR Chat, what you are going to do, you're, if you, are, if if you have haven't played already, you are going to hit calibrate FBT, line up those two those two circles at the bottom of your feet and your hip, T pose, hit your triggers, and then there you go. You are now in VR Chat with full body tracking wirelessly with your quest to um another app that you should download it's the ovr space mover um i will link that in the description as well it's super self-explanatory to install it's just a plugin and it shows up right in your in your menu so with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did
hit that, hit that like, like button down below, down below and if you really want to see more VR content, content and just in general more VR things, things please be sure to hit please be sure to hit, please please be sure to hit like the comments. comments I will be streaming more and more while I am oops okay okay I'll be streaming more and more while I get my streaming setup back in order and back to working in proper order again like i said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna switch microphones i hope you guys enjoyed this if you guys did please leave a like subscribe and now we're gonna have a word from our sponsor of today's or, or, or my channel actually uh, it's dubby have you ever been tired like just out of it and you want a na like a slightly natural more natural way to uh get yourself more energy well dubby is here this is the dub sludge container i love it i can't drink it however because of some medical issues but i tried it that's why i know <laughs> but i tried it and it is amazing it really helped with my flavor like it had a nice flavor it helped wake me up in the mornings i work um early shifts now in the mornings i work at like 8 a.m and i don't want to get out of bed so what i do is i order dubby for instance, here is the Dragon Aid flavor in the Dub Sludge, like I said that I have. If you guys want to use my code down below, it is uh, DeformClock1. Use my code to get 10% off of your next purchase. Uh, if you want to know what W is all about, here there, it's on their website, w.gg. Um, and yeah, <laughs> thank you for so much, W, for sponsoring me. It means a whole lot to my channel and a whole lot to my community. Thank you again. Um, use code deform clock one in the, in the chat or not the chat. Oh my God. I'm used to streaming, <laughs> uh, use deform clock one on your next purchase, um, as a coupon code and you'll get 10% off your next purchase. Thank you, Dubby for sponsoring. And let's get back to the video. So when you, when you ever want to like move your space, right? What you're going to do is you're going to download this app. This is OVR space calibrator or not space calibrator. That's the other app. This is OVR advanced settings. Basically what this is, is it allows you to have a space mover. Um, you can hit your button on, say, your right joystick, and you can move yourself in your play space. That's what the main intention for it is. Um, you can even, like, calibrate. That's, that's how you do things in this game. It's really essential for games such as VR Chat. If you need to get up to a high place that your friends can't and you just, you just want to troll them, use OVR Advanced Settings. Um, it's really nice, really easy to use, and the keybind mapping is super easy. This is an app that I've been using since I started playing PC VR, even when I didn't have, um, full body tracking. You don't have to have FBT for it. It works all around. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this video. If you guys enjoyed and you want a part two or a video showing how to set up the firmware on your base stations, your, your trackers or anything like that. Please let me know in the comments. I will for sure do it. I'm hoping I'm going to do a stream tomorrow at like maybe noon central standard. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you guys enjoyed. Hit subscribe. I'm on the way to getting 100 subscribers on YouTube and 300 or 500 followers on Twitch. Um, I'm at 276 on Twitch. The support on my Twitch channel is, un is outstanding. I, I couldn't have gotten to where I am without you guys. Um, and the way how I am, I was getting super nervous. I really didn't think I was going to get very far, and I didn't think I was going to get to where I am today. Um, so thank you to all of you who follow me, to all of you who have subscribed to me. Thank you. It means a lot to me. And sooner sooner than later, I'm, I want to get big. I, I want to try and get a be a big streamer and it's been my lifelong goal since i've been a little kid i haven't been able to like do it until now i have my own job i have everything that i need to succeed i have been putting it off for too long so what i'm gonna do sooner than later soon hopefully i am going to release merch yes merch for my game for my channel uh, I still have yet to pick out the design, but I will be launching either t-shirts or something like that stuff, ugh, stuff like that to be released onto a web website. So you guys can purchase merch from me with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please, please leave a comment. 
tell me what I want, what you guys want to see on my channel. I'm not sure what I want to do yet. I'm probably going to do a lot of Minecraft at first, and then I want to move on to more VR stuff once I get a better setup. As you can see, my camera is kind of behind, and it's kind of laggy. So I'm eventually going to be getting a better GPU so I can run VR games better on my PC, and so I can actually stream. Uh, I eventually want to get index knuckles so I can have finger tracking in games. So, again, so, with that being said, I love you all. Have an amazing day, amazing week, whatever time you guys see this video. Please, 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 please tell me in the comments. I can't say it enough. I want to know what you guys want to see on my channel. Um, and, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.